Hey everybody, Joe Nego here, hitting the streets of Chicago, talking with people, talking with the marketplace, getting people's perceptions of and their experiences with real estate agents. What's your opinion of real estate agents? I think uh, there are too many of them. It's kind of like politicians. You hate them all but yours. I wouldn't say they're dishonest, but I think you have to be careful. They're shady. They're necessary evil. Like they're after the quick sale. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They don't follow up. Whatever they tell you at closing ain't gonna happen the next time. They wanna sell stuff, they wanna make money. Mainly they're really good, they're helpful. Some of them are okay, I think. Well, my husband's a real estate agent, so um, <laughs> I'd say you're fairly positive. I would she was married to him. You were yeah. married, not anymore? No. You must have been a bad agent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion of real estate agents? <laughs> Varied. Positive. They've yeah. helped me. They have their own self-interest at heart. They're, they're next to lawyers and a lot of them in our books. Real estate people in general? Um, neutral. They have a job to do. They have a knowledge that I don't generally have information available to me and I use them as a resource. If you were to look for a real estate agent today, how would you go about finding that person? I would ask friends. I, I want that personal assurance yeah. that this person is reputable and that they've, they've, they've had a good experience. It's mostly referrals. I've uh, got mine now from a referral. How did you find your real estate agent? It was actually referred from a friend of mine. A uh, recommendation from people I know. I knew of her history and I know other people that have bought from her or with her. We met her through a referral to us. Maybe start with referrals, but then I'd, I'd talk to a couple. Is this live? <laughs> no, no, it's not like <laughs> the Oprah this? show or anything. I don't know. Who's your favorite day? Oprah. You get Oprah in England? Yeah, all right. It's not Oprah. <laughs> If you were to give a real estate agent advice on how to build their business and take care of a client and get referrals, what advice would you give them? Oh, I uh, just be personal. Really be more of a people person and not a pushy salesperson. To be a good listener and try to understand what the client wants and then help them fulfill their needs. The good ones will call you back and see if you're happy, if you you know, if you need anything, if if you were just happy with their services. Follow the golden rule, treat others as you'd want to be treated and be honest and ethical and upfront. Uh, be truthful with the uh, uh, client and uh, that's the main thing. Develop a personal as well as professional relationship because again in this business referrals and and having a good professional aura keeps you in business, it works well with people. I think that we all have desires and needs a little bit deeper than money, so to focus on that I think would be something interesting. At least it would make me feel a lot better with my real estate agent. We've got a really great, great real estate agent now that's helping us with maintenance and things like that. He's like, I know the area and, and he's he's very proactive and he, and he does stuff like, I'm going to do this at my house, do you want me to just get an estimate for your new house too? I had a great experience with my real estate agent, it's like a friend now. He's worked with all three of my friends now and yeah, he pretty much is, you know, obviously I found him and then we became friends and because of his relationship with me and how I had a good experience with him, now he gets more business. If I have any questions about the house or, you know, that I'll just shoot him an email and he emails me right back and everything. You know, Christmas cards, uh, calendar every year, you know, that sort of thing. She sent uh, cards at Christmas and uh, I believe uh, we got a birthday card as well, my wife did. You know, she'll call every once in a while just to say hello and ask about what's going on with us and the family and so she's like she developed a personal relationship with us. She could do whatever she wanted, send us calendars or wreaths, candy, bottles of champagne, whatever, things that she's done in the past, but we wouldn't go back to her just because I just don't think that she was um, forthcoming to us in all of the dealings that we had with her. Do you, do you own your own home? Yes. How, how long ago did you buy it? Uh, about seven years ago. Do you remember your real estate agent's name? No. Yes. Yes. No, I don't. Wait, yes, I do. No, I don't. Why is that? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Probably so busy working hard to pay for it now. I just bought another house two years ago. They still ain't come back to me. Do you remember me. your real estate agent's name? No. No, I know it was a woman. How long ago did you buy that house? 1988. Do you remember your real estate agent's name? Yes. No. No. I know what she looks like, but I don't remember her name. I bought it in uh, 1995. Do you remember your real estate agent's name? I'll have to look, I would have to look it up. If your agent did a great job, would you refer your agent? Yes. Yeah. But you can't remember their name? No. no. Okay, you refer them then. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, there you have it, folks. The marketplace has spoken. We've discovered how people are looking to find a real estate agent. They're looking for a referral. They're looking through family members and friends. So I have a question for you. Do your clients remember your name? And what are you going to do differently?